Today, we want to talk about the new Fine Arc 2014 PAPS system. Let you, the reason it's called PAPS is called Professional Aero Preparation System. The basic system is what's in front of you. It consists of the main tower, two of the roller blocks, and the plank itself. But this consists. This this is not an ordinary roller tower. As you can see, there is three truss ball bearing right underneath it. There is very precise ball bearing in the system. Let me see. Let me zoom in so you can see it much better. You see the ball bearing itself is actually not an ordinary ball bearing. There is no hose to start with. You can see that. It's the center piece is actually a screw, and not to mention it's crowned. Which means at any angle when this arrow was touching the shaft, the maximum total contact surface is two points. And the delay of, you can also see right here, there's a, this is where the length of the front side, which is the 0 to 18 on this side and 0 to 18 on this side. Now, what's the purpose of this system? A lot of people say, well, that is spine fine and so on. First of all, you notice that the system as a whole do not have any any way to tell you what the spine of the arrow is, because that is not the intent of the system. Oh, and at the same time, you also have the other side, which gives you 0 to 36. Well, as we build a lot of arrow boats, we, we build some custom spine finding system. Well, I think the terminology should be used, changed a little bit. It is not to find the spine of the arrow. It's to find the first initial bend of the arrow. Well, people ask, you what, ask me, what, what's it about? Why do we care about the first initial bend of an arrow? Well, we built quite a few of the Black Eagle Challenger for the last two years. One thing we learned, one thing is that when you got a 32-inch arrow, we use a traditional spine finder, we find the spine, fletch it, and guess what? The natural first bend is not where the spine is. And that, of course, puzzles us to the extreme. And of course, looking at the arrow shaft and the fletching process, we learn a few things. The spine of arrow is not linear. In other words, it is not straight down the back of an arrow at any of the 360 degree. It actually, in most cases, in a curve form. So the spine at this moment, if you cut this section, the spine may be on here, and, and the further you'll move. So imagine this, you've got a 32 inch arrow, and you cut the arrow, say, 3 inches. The spine can move as, the, the, okay, let me take the word out, it's not spine. The natural first bending point, it actually can move more than 40 to 50 degree. So how do we find an arrow's natural first bending point if we have a shaft? What we have discovered, the best way to do it is, first of all, cut the shaft. Don't even bother to spine it. Cut the shaft first. Put the insert in and put a knock in. Then you measure the length of the arrow minus a quarter inch on both sides using, very important, see this notch right there? The notch of the roller will give you exact measurement, just like there's a notch right in the center of this. So you can see the center is setting at zero right now. So assume that we got this specific arrow on the shaft itself, just the shaft, is 28 inches. So we're going to set it at 14 and 3 quarter on this side and 14 and 3 quarter on this side. Now we put the shaft on it. Make sure it's only touching the shaft. By applying a little bit of pressure, and slowly rotate the shaft, you can see that it literally find it immediately. This is the natural bend point of the shaft. We're going to mark this point with a silver sharpie so we can see what I mean. Now some arrow have multiple spines, which is where, or, or multiple bend points. So if you put on a dial indicator, you'll find out for the lowest point, you can find two, three, up to seven. So which one do you need? And we find out when you have a dial indicator. In some cases, the lowest point is indeed the initial first band. But in most cases, they are not. 
the larger the shaft, the more the higher. What we are looking for is the most active bend point of the shaft. In this specific, let me show you. You can see that it snapped right here. See that I release my finger, it come back right here. There's another one right here. And you can see this is where my original spined arrow is. You can see how different it is from what we have discovered. See that you literally roll itself back to this point. Okay, that pretty much is how you use the APS system if you have no other necessary and buy the as is. Which concluded our basic usage of the PAPS system.